okay in this video we will discuss the density of hole a hole concentration in valence band as we know that when energy is given to this uh, semiconductor material then the electron and the valence band absorb that energy and jump from conduction band, valence band to conduction band so here electrons jump from this valence band to conduction band once it jump from valence band to conduction band then these electrons will leave a hole behind in the conduction valence band the holes are represented by this circle while the uh, electrons are represented by these solid dots now we have to calculate the number of holes in the valence band we will proceed we will follow the same procedure what we did for the density of electron in the conduction band and the number of electrons the number of holes holes and valence band is represented by this p which is equal to integral of g of e d times 1 minus f of e uh, and we know that the holes can 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 be found found everywhere from the top of the valence band to the bottom of the valence band the top of the valence band is represented by ev and the bottom of the valence band is represented by minus infinity so the integral is from minus infinity to ev now here i i use in the previous uh, video we use only f of a but here we use 1 minus f of a and the reason is 1 minus f of a means we have the total probability which is 1 among which this much electron will occupy the conduction band so the probability of finding the hole in the valence band will be 1 minus f of e now the the factor g of e which is density of available states is given by pi divided by 2 and then we have 8 m h steric over h square whole 3 by 2 and then we have e v minus e whole 1 over 2 let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 where m h is the effective mass of mass of holes whole now we will calculate this factor now which is 1 minus f of e which is equal to 1 minus 1 over 1 plus exponential of e minus ef over kt and if we suppose let x is equal to e minus ef over kt then 1 plus f of a will be equal to 1 minus 1 over 1 plus e raised to power x if we take the LCM 1 plus e raised to power x we left with 1 plus e raised to power x minus 1 1 cancel with this so we have e raised to power x over 1 plus e raised to power x which is 1 over 1 minus e raised to 1 plus e raised to power minus x so 1 minus f of e will be equal to 1 over 1 plus e raised to power e f minus e over k t now I, I use the same approximation which is e f minus e is much greater than k t this implies that e f <coughs> minus e over k t will be much greater than 1 or exponential of e f minus e over k t will be much greater than 1 if it is much greater than 1 then if we add 1 with this factor exponential factor e f minus e over k t then it does not change the result so the result should be e f minus e over k t so using this value in the above equation we get 1 minus f of e which is 1 over e raised to power e f minus e over 
get you. Uh, if we bring the, the factor in the denominator to the numerator, we get 1 minus f of a, which is equal to e raised to the power e minus ef over kt. This is equation number 3. Using equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 we have using this equation and this equation and equation 1 we finally get the required results or the required integral is p is equal to pi by 2 and to add mh steric over h square whole 3 by 2 and to integral from minus infinity to ev and we have ev minus e whole 1 over 2 e raised to power minus ef minus e over kt into de now i will use uh, some supposition here we suppose the let ev minus e over kt is equal to x this implies that de should be equal to minus kt into dx because this is constant so then differential will be on this factor so there is a negative sign which i bring on this side and then the denominator we have kt which i bring also to this side now if e is equal to minus infinity if we put e is equal to minus infinity in this expression then we get x is equal to infinity and if e is equal to ev if we put here we get x is equal to 0 so, so the limit of the integration is from infinity to 0 now and we replace ef minus e over kt by ef minus ev plus ev minus e divided by kt here i just add and subtract ev in this expression so from this we get ef minus ev over kt plus ev minus e over kt using all these supposition like in terms of this this factor we use this one and in terms of this we will replace by this we finally get p is equal to pi divided by 2 at mh steric divided by h square whole 3 by 2 integral is from infinity to 0 now and we have x kt whole 1 over 2 instead of this i put x into kt and we have this factor which is e raised to power minus ef minus ev over kt and we have e raised to power minus x and then we have minus kt into dx so bringing the constant outside of the integral this this factor and this factor we finally get p is equal to pi by 2 and we have at mh steric over h square whole 3 by 2 and we have kt whole 3 by 2 and we left with and then we have this factor e raised to power minus ef minus ev over kt and then we left with this integral which is 0 to infinity and we have e x whole 1 over 2 e raised to power minus x and dx I, re I remove this negative sign for that I just change the limits of integration from infinity to, to 0 to 0 to infinity now this is this integral we already solved in the case of concentration of electron in the conduction band and its value is square root pi divided by 2 if we replace that by this factor we get p is equal to pi by 2 and we have at mh steric over h square whole 3 by 2 and we have kt whole 3 by 2 and we have e raised to power ev minus ef over kt and then we have square root pi divided by 2 
if we rearrange this equation we finally get 2 into 2 pi mh steric kt over h square whole 3 divided by 2 and we have this factor e raised to the power ev minus ef over kt uh, which can be written as nv e raised to the power ev minus ef over kt where nv is equal to 2 times 2 pi mh steric kt over h square whole 3 by 2 and it's called effective density of state effective density of states and valence band and here we have the number of holes and this factor tell us the the exponential tell us how much percentage of this stage this will tell us how much percentage of these states these states are actually empty actually empty so that it give us the number of hole in the conduction band so that it will give us the number of holes in valence band this is all about the concentration of hole in the valence band now here I will just explain few terms here we have this GV which is given by this relation pi by 2 at mh steric over h square whole 3 by 2 and then we have ev minus e whole 1 over 2 now if i plot this factor so here we have this one okay if i plot this ge of the valence band is a function of e and this is my valence band which is in the top of the valence band and this is the conduction band which is the top of the conduction band and this is the form energy EF so it will look like this the function the, the graph will look like this so it is proportional to EV minus E whole 1 over 2 now if we plot the Fermi Dirac distribution function F of E which is this one f of e and on this side we have the energy here we have the conduction band valence band and here we have the Fermi energy and here we have the conduction band if we plot this one we will get a relation like this a plot like this okay which is f of e but I need to plot 1 minus f of e if we do that then it will look like this this one so the actual graph will be this one which is this one now if we intersect this graph with this one we get the product which is g of e d e times 1 minus f of e which basically in the integral okay which basically give us the number of whole which is and on this side we have the energy so here if I plot this one which is this and if I plot this one which is this so we get the density of state like this the density of hole in the conduction band so here it's look like this so 
the density of state is like this. So this is all about concentration of hole in the valence band. Thank you.